Hi guys, hope you all have a fantastic day. Well, today we are finally continuing to work on our Niva. If you can see, this side is awesome. It's still here, it didn't move, so that's really good. Now it's time to do the other one. Let me show you. Okay, so the other one is rusted as well. So there is no point of saving this. We need to cut everything out and to be nice and pretty because yeah, that's not good. So we are gonna cut this once again. And I'm gonna show you just a quick uh, time lapse how to cut it and weld it back. If you want to see more, there is a first video where I did that side and that I did in detail. For now, in this episode, we are gonna need to do that because it's important. Then we can replace this ugly front mask with this brand new one. So yeah, today's video we are working more about the front mask and everything, but first we need to cut this out. So yeah, it's time to cut it. Let's go. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. Well, I was hoping that everything would work really good, but we have some pretty big problems. Well, as you can see, I need to cut this and weld a new piece. This is all rusted. But that's really not my concern. Here is what I found out. Someone put some sort of the body kit or something in the chassis rail and the chassis rail is completely detached here. So this is really bad. I need to fix all this and now this really isn't my problem anymore but i'm thinking to cut this out then weld this new piece then weld a new arm and then put some sort of extension because here chassis is good and then it's just bad so yeah i'm thinking to cut this out put a new piece in as long as it is to have some new pieces then we need to put all this new and probably this is probably everything rusted so yeah that's the plan of the tech so now we need to cut this out then cut this out put a new piece of metal in then see what you're gonna do about this one so yeah ah. I'm gonna cut this out probably now and see how bad it is. So yeah. Well, I got the hammer to see how it's attached and I took a one hit and now this was holding my car. That's really not good. And you can see, I don't know what they used, but this is some sort of body kit or something. I drilled a hole in this one so that I can see. But yeah, I'm really glad I'm doing this restoration. So yeah, this is not good, but yeah. <sighs> I'm a little bit speechless at the moment. Cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that pay I need a change in my life Cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, 
Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? Well, this looks really good and why I didn't grind it to the end on the other side is because I don't need to and it's always better to leave some welds if you can to see. It's much, much better. You're gonna have a much stronger bond if you don't ground your welds. But for this, I need to have it a smooth finish. So this is pretty, pretty good and now we can put our inner fender and because of this chassis not existing the firewall cracked here and here so I need to grind these two off and then we are ready to put inner fender in and wow that's gonna be awesome Well guys, front end is done for now. Let me show you. Well, I think this turned out really, really good. So the cross member fits tight once again. And what's important, the steering box, I put back it in to see if if she sits right and everything is absolutely good so yeah this is really important that I can fit this steering box and yeah this is the other side so this is awesome so yeah I decided something else to do I'm not gonna change the front mask now because it's really not smart when you think about it i'm still working on this car and this is just like cosmetic let's say so this is what i'm gonna do at the end i'm gonna change the front mask when i'm done with everything because i'm planning to get these cars to sandblasting so that we can really really remove as much rust as we can and now i know i should cut everything out and make a new chassis leg but honestly i'm just tired this is a really big milestone for this car so i'm gonna use some fire and remove all this isolation because this i don't need to think a lot and for this to make sure it's good i need to have my head in the game and make right cuts and for now I'm just a little bit tired so I'm gonna do work that's uh, relatively easy and for that we are gonna use this fire breather some spatula and a metal metal bucket don't use plastic one it's gonna burn through when you put isolation in so use metal one and I know you can get you can get uh, with dry ice isolation, but it's really hard to get where I live. So fire it is. So yeah, let's remove the isolation from the entire car. Let's go. And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, might miss. Gotta find what I'm good at. I guess I look here, look there, over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta 
make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, no, I'm doing things right Well, this is looking a lot better Now I can use some paint remover and remove the rest But this is just laid so thick It's really hard to remove it without dry ice or fire So yeah, it's a lot better there is still a lot of things to do, but it's better than it was before. So yeah, guys, you can do it this way. It's always, always wear a mask because this is not good stuff to breathe. And it's a messy procedure, but you can do it this way. It's really not that hard. And yeah, I have a lot more to do, but it's the same old thing. So I'm not going to bore you. So yeah guys, so I'm sorry for today's videos, it's a little bit of the chaos, but it's a lot of stuff, so there is always something to do. And the next video we are gonna attack those chassis legs, and yeah, let me show you this. I found more rust here on the other side, so it's a good thing to remove it, because you can't see it, because it's so thick. Underneath can be completely rusted and you wouldn't be able to see So yeah guys, this is it Well guys, now we are working really hard So please like, share and subscribe And guys, see you in the next video